Hi guys, welcome from my home in Tokyo with La Galette des Rois, the King's Cake. Voila, this is why I'm wearing already my crown because I know that I will, I will get the fev, guys, which is here because I'm the only one who's going to eat it. <laughs> were you chatting? What were you chatting about? Sorry for making you wait. Um, voila, so first live stream of the year. So happy new year. Bon année. And we are try we are going to start with <laughs> Hail to the Queen. Um we are going to start with a queen's worth two queen's worth cakes because they come from you've seen in the title from three star Michelin star restaurants. I mean, their um, pâtisserie. You've seen pictures on Instagram of the, the one I got at Trois Gros. It was just so delicious. <laughs> Alors, attends. I still had half of it. Let me show you. It was just, oh my God. It's just, you know, you have... We're not going to eat this all year, so you know, you just need to get the best. Even if you eat it all year, anyways. <laughs> and it was square and so good. And they, I bought it two days ago and they told me I should eat it tomorrow, the rest of it. Maybe it's gotten a little bit dry, but I don't mind it. <clears throat> and yesterday, oh my God, yes. I got one because I had this shooting at TV Asahi and I got one at Robuchon. It's round. Both were super, super expensive. Voila, attends, can you see that it's the table is just such a big mess, but voila, I every year I buy a galette from Robuchon. They are always delicious. Voilà, the trois gros. I think they were the same price, something like 25 bucks. This one was 25 bucks. At trois gros, they had one. This, the square one is made by the pâtissier and they had a round one, which was 17 bucks that is made f by the boulanger you know the bread maker and <laughs> the baker <laughs> what is this <laughs> in english you say baker but i got the the ch cheapest one they had no more and anyways i wanted the i want to always want the best so this is what i got i ate almost half of it i'm i'm i would kill for Ne coco chan for Galette des Rois. I love Galette des Rois so much. Um, we have the fave Jessica. You asked me. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have the time to reply all everything. I am so busy lately, which is a good thing. But uh, is scary naughty again? Uh, track naughty again. What did he say? Hamster. Voilà. This one, alors attends, I want it, voilà. I wanted to check out the price of the Robuchon one. I think it was 2,500 yen or 2,200, something like that. But it's a little bit smaller. Robuchon. Yes, 2,160. The top one. So now we're going to try it. Let's try it. We can talk about the, the, the origins of this cake afterwards. You know all about, I think you translate it by King's Cake. I'm going to try and cut the Robuchon Galette nicely. Let's try and do this. Up. 
what they do is you sometimes they put the fev outside when i was a kid they would always put the fev inside um but i think that now they prefer to let people do it themselves because to avoid accidents also you know of kids who might swallow it or you know break their teeth <laughs> munching <laughs> on the game the fev oh my god just the sounds makes me drooling guys the it's made you know the dough is pat feuilleté do you know how to make pat feuilleté guys there you have to put a lot of butter Okay, this slice is not maybe the best cut. Okay, now I'm going to show you that cut, that bit looks is the best. Because you have the frangipan inside, it's really filling the inside, you see? And the real, really the, the top, Stuff, it, it's almost perfect, but it's not filled perfectly here. <laughs> it's almost perfect, let's say. So, Nalita San, for example, he would, do you remember my friend Nalita San, who makes the most amazing Galette des Rois? He is really, he says it really has to be filled. And he, he wouldn't, he, he, he doesn't sell it if it's not filled, but the problem is that you can't see unless you cut it. The Trois Croix one was really filled super nicely. Oh well, both are, ni are filled super nicely. I'm just too picky. Uh, alors, yes, frangipan is a mix of almond paste and crème pâtissière. And I don't like it when it really has to be a perfect balance in between those two. If there is too much cream, it becomes heavy, it's not good. But if it's too almondy, it's not good either. The Trois Gros one was perfect. Let's try, let's just do this. Well, okay, perfect, cut. And the pâte feuilleté has to be buttery and super airy. You can see all, feuille, feuille means paper. A slice of paper in French. So feuilleté, it's all the slices of the dough. I'm going to explain how they make it afterwards. Itadakimasho, itadakimas. Oh my God, that smells the specific smell of Galette des Rois. Ah, itadakimas. Hmm. Yes. Oh my God. Alors, in this one, I can feel the crème pâtissière taste, just the taste, not the texture. But it has the crème pâtissière taste a, a little bit more than the Trois Gros one. But it's just oh my god, I like because I like those because it's <laughs> it's traditional taste. They make mini galettes now with with other flavors. I don't like it. I like like it when it's simple and traditional, like this. You we have to hurry, guys, because Galette des Rois is only in January. I think that this one, the cream inside the frangipan is a little bit, and I can see, I don't know if you can see, but we can see that it has probably a little bit more of crème pâtissière. Uh, you can see it also from the texture, not only the taste. You can see in this one that it has more almonds. Uh, um, 
both are just exceptional it's really difficult for me i can't tell you which one i prefer i prefer i'm going to taste the trois gros one again but i think that this one is more like what I would buy, you know, the nice galettes that you can find in France um, because the pâte feuilletée is not as buttery, I think, as the Trois Gros one. It's super nice too, but okay, maybe I have my heart goes more to the Trois Gros one. Be uh, let's try it again. But if I remember well, this one was the crust, the pet feuilleté was a little bit more buttery, but still so light and airy and so crunchy. Oh my God. I mean, I mean, have you seen, I don't think I have commented about anything like that on Instagram or it's, it had been a long time because this is perfection. I, yeah, I think I said that it's c'est la perfection incarnée. Um, this is to me the embodiment of perfection because the pâte feuilleté is perfect and to me the balance in between the almonds and the crème pâtissière in the frangipane is just perfect. Uh, the creams, yeah, it's actually... This one is not light uh, no, it is light, the cream in the Robuchon's one, but you, I taste more the crème pâtissière. In the Trois Gros one, it's perfect to me because it's not like you feel too much the almonds or not the almonds nor the crème pâtissière, none of, none of it. Ah, I'm losing my English. None is stronger than the other one. It's just a perfect balance of taste, I think. And the texture also, I don't like it when it when there is too much crème pâtissière. The texture gets like creamy and milky, and I don't like that. To me, this it's not a good uh, galette des rois when it gets like that. But uh, you can see the, the frangipane inside is completely different, right? More almonds, I think. Tadakimasu again. No, I'm drinking some water because I don't want to spoil the taste of this. And I wanted to make myself some tea. But I was running late. I'm just running, running, running these days. It's crazy, guys. Tadakimasu. Mm. Sorry. Robichon. I prefer the Trogo one. Even if this one is three days old, it hasn't changed. It's just so perfect. You know what? It's still good because they put a lot of butter in the pet feuilleté. So it's still just so amazingly good. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Today, guys, the winner is definitely Trois Gros. Well, I'm sorry, I have lots of friends at Robuchon, but to me, the Robuchon one is ex exceptional too. But the Trois Gros one is the winner today. It's even more exceptional. I don't know, it has really has, it's one level above the Robuchon one. The panda is depressed because he can't have any cake. Yeah, probably. Voila, but still, I mean, this one is better, of course, from the... I had one from, you know, that boulangerie that I like, that is you have in Shibuya, and uh, Ikebukuro department, Tobu department store. It's called Boulange. It's the first galette that I put on Instagram. That one, guys, was really, like, super simple. And actually a little bit dry because 
to make pâte feuilletée it costs a lot of money because you have to use a lot of butter and how they make pâte feuilletée is that you know when you make bread you, you call this the dough right so in between the dough what they do is they put butter and then they they wrap the butter and they make many 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 layers like so it's like lots of feuilles feuilles thin feuilles <laughs> and then they fold it butter fold butter again fold and fold and fold and fold and fold and fold and it makes all those layers thin layers and that makes pat feuilleté voilà so if they are cheap on the butter it gets the following day it's dry already this one i think this is number one also because they really put a lot of butter in the the puff pastry puff, the dough puff, puff pastry <laughs> to me everything is dough <laughs> the thing that comes around is the dough <laughs> c'est la pâte quoi voilà voilà guys um so we have galette des rois Roi in French is kings. Galette, uh, it's the galette, voilà. Ah. And um, we, we eat it usually, uh, you know, the, it's, you have the, the epiphany. I think it's on the 6th of January in every country. But usually in France, we say that we have to eat it the first... Um, Sunday of the year and what we do is that so we have the fev inside which used to be a sola mame the so I think that epiphany is on the sixth uh, track voila <laughs> you're not going to get a present you didn't answer the quiz properly <laughs> track <laughs> or I will send you a horrible present like uh, tomato tomato beer right so we put this in the cake and we have, this is the frangipane galette des rois, but we also have, do you have that guys? I can show you, I have my computer here. It's really the shape of a crown. And this cake is to celebrate, you know, the les rois mages. It's, it's related to uh, Christianism, of course. And you know, when, Jesus was born the three mages. <laughs> Please translate someone. Les rois mages. Attends, les rois mages. Mages in English. C'est chaud? You know the story, but... The wise man. Wise, like someone in this room, right? Uh, not, so, not so wise, maybe the so when they came it's to celebrate that it's and we have the crown so the one who gets the fev fev no that's a small bean guys what was it fev you taught me the bean the fev the one who gets it so we don't know we cut it and we don't know which slice has the fev inside. It used to be the bean, and now it's those cute things. Uh -huh. And the one who finds it becomes a queen or the king. And then we pick our queen or king, right? So, today, and I'm, oh my God, we should have played this game. So I am the queen because voila, of course, I'm finding the fev. Or, attends, hold on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Attends, we should, we should so do a game right now. Chotomate, how do we do this? I put the fev in the cake and bend the knee. Oh my God. I haven't watched yet. I'm letting it simmer. I'm Tanoshi Ministeru. Haven't watched the last season of Game of Thrones, guys. So I'm cutting it. Okay, no, I'm hiding it first. 
Non. Attends, tu entends ma tête. I have, I'm hiding it. We are going to play a game, guys. I'm hiding the fev. And there will be... Uh, I'm going to make, I think, four pieces. You're going to pick the first person who will give me... No, attends, there are going to be six pieces. Where am I going to hide it? No, okay. <laughs> Because then, you know, if I cut it in front of you and... I'm on top of the fev, then we're, we have a big problem. So let's make the pieces first. Voila. And then I will hide the fev under. And the one who will find, tell me where the fev is, will get a postcard. We'll get a New Year card. I still have one. By the way, Trek, I need you to send me, please, private message me your address. I don't have the time to sh look for it. My friend, can you message me your address? Voila, we have four pieces. Trek, no, it's not starting yet. Jeff, don't do this. Um, thank you, Trek. Alors, you will get, you will get, you will get, where are the cards? I still have two. I have one for Trek. Voila. Trek, that's yours. Oh, shoot. I thought I had another one. No, okay. So the winner will get, voila, another card. You will get this with a message full of love inside, of course. Alors, I'm hiding the, voila, the fev. Not going to put it, ah, no, shoot. Well, I have to put it inside. That sucks. <laughs> Okay, from the on the side. If I put it on the side, it's okay. I'm not breaking it like this. Okay, perfecto. Voila. You have time, guys, to play a game. To play a game. No, you stop. No. Don't start giving me numbers, guys. It's not starting. No, I'm not taking this in, guys. Sorry. You are not playing the game properly. You have to wait for <laughs> the queen. When the queen says, go, you go. Okay? Bon. We, you have to abide to the rules, guys. So I'm going to make four up. This is not working, this thing at all. Up. I like playing games with you guys. Actually, we are going to play. Tomorrow is your chance to win the prize because I'm going to on a food hunt tomorrow. Yay! Woohoo! Long time no see. Ah. Do. Ah, I love this. This is so nice. Trois. Quatre. Can I phone a friend? What for? To, to nobody knows the number. Even ah, uh, attend. Do I remember? Yes, I remember where the fev is. Okay. Where is my phone? I want to take seriously. This house is more central. It's just. This is bad, guys. Hello. Attend. Up. Actually, there is a kind of a fev inside with uh, an almond. What they do also is that they put an almond to replace the fev sometimes. Alors, it would be get good Domino pizza for <laughs> you can get Domino pizza for five bucks. Really? Are you serious? Oh my god, that is too cheap. It's so cheap, it scares me. You sure? 
Bom! Where is it? I have... Hold on! Give me... Give me one minute, guys! <laughs> Hold on a second! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have... Oh my god! I so have... Uh, where is it that thing? Oh shoot! That's too bad. I don't know where I put my. Um, do you remember that light that we bought in at the um, Hello Kitty? Uh, I don't know where it is. Shoot. Triple shoot. Ah, that's too bad, guys. If I had the that light, that would have been awesome. I would have been like, do you remember that light that we bought at uh, Hello Kitty? Do you? It was so cute. Anyways, <laughs> are you still here? Nobody. I can't see. Okay. Are you ready? Now you can pick, guys, your number. Alors, what do we have? One, two, or three? <laughs> if you can see, it's so bad. Alors, attends, we have, let me see who was first. Jeff, four, two, we have two. I don't even remember. Numéro trois, six. Attends, so the first number, attends, tout en matéa. It's too bad, guys, that I will... Today, I only have one card left, so you're going to get it. So, let's check out. We have a winner already, of course. So, let's check out if where it is. Number one. Number one. Number one. Is it here? Is it here? No, not number one. Now, number two, number two, right? I'm not uh, cheating, eh, guys. You can see I can't move this. Uh, voilà. Alors, number two, is it here? That's actually, they put an almond that could have replaced um, the fev. But is it here, that small object? No. Is it here? Kawaii! It is here. Our winner is number two, and I think that David is the first one to have number two. Voilà. So I've seen a lot, lots of num number two. David, congratulations. I'm happy for you. You have to... Attends. No mistake, right, guys? Number four, Jeff was first with four. Seriously, Jeff, you've, you, you've been waiting behind your computer to put your number, right? <laughs> so quick. David, bravo, congratulations. You are getting a love message. No, a message <laughs> full of love from me. Thank you for your support always. Uh, please... Message me your address on private message me, of course. Unless, I mean, up to you. Huh? <laughs> or you can put your address in the comments if you want to get uh, presents from the others. Private message me your address on um, Instagram, okay? Voila, voila. This is nice. I like doing games with you guys. I, I'm going to do this all the time now, I think. Voilà. Alors, thank you so much. Any questions about uh, the Galet des Rois? No, I think it's pretty popular. I just wanted to show you and then we can just, I'm going to give you some heads up. Galette des Rois, we also have a different kind of galette. Um, with a, a hole, actually, in the middle. It really represents... 
um, brioche, it's brioche type galette. And it's, I love, people always ask me in France, people, they will ask you which one do you, because there is the frangipane people and the brioche, galette des rois brioche. Le couronne, we call this couronne, crown people. And I am both. I don't, I just love both so much. It's just so good. Galette des Rois to me, even the brioche one. But what I don't like, well, I see how it is brioche. So it's a super light galette. Seriously, when I get this, I eat in the morning, I eat half of it. Huh? What I don't like, guys, is when they start putting all those fruits, those dried cherries, not dried like coffee cherries. I don't like that. Like in Forêt Noire, you know, I love Forêt Noire, but I don't like the cherries that they put inside. Voilà, so I am both... I like the couronne and I like the frangipane. But we don't find the couronne in Japan. Voilà, voilà. Sorry, I've missed a lot of comments because I've been concentrating on uh, the tasting. It's nice, right? It's um, a present for my sister with cats. Kawaii. Alors... This is so nice. I'm going to send those two last cards. Uh, Ram says, I have your chopsticks. I'm going to send you your chopsticks. I can't show you, but I got you your chopsticks. I'm sending it today or tomorrow. Voila. Because uh, voila. So it's the Patreon uh, thing, guys. As you know, I have a Patreon um, page on which we do private live streams and private chats. Uh, I do private, you know, tastings of things that I find. Uh, and then private tastings of sake or wine or weird beverages. <laughs> you will recognize yourself, someone who always buys me weird um, beverages. And we have all, always a lot of fun because, you know, it's just like, it's the Patreon family, you know, so like we're a family on this channel, but it's really the core family that is on Patreon. So really, it's like you, you can see me on Patreon as sometimes you don't maybe see me uh, on the public live streams because I have to be careful with the words I use in the public live streams, right? <laughs> that gives you a hint. So guys, I'm going to, I think, I just need to check out if I can do a meeting in an undisclosed area because you have to um, guess the area, guys, to play the game of the Feed Jennifer Gaming get the small gift that is somewhere <laughs> in this house. You've seen it many times. I'm trying to find my chotomate kudasai uh, because I didn't have the time to put the, the Fit Jennifer and Kawagoe link. Okay, we have it. I'm going to put it in the comment. I'm going to try and do this. Up, that's <laughs> me, drinking beer. It's still time, guys, to put your guess. <laughs> Try and guess where I'm going to do the next food hunt. The next feed Jennifer, where is it going to be? It should be tomorrow. You got that? I'm going to put a comment in my own live stream with the link. I'm going to put a comment in my own live stream with the link. This is so weird. This is so weird. Voila. <laughs> it's done. Voila. <laughs> it's done. 
Alors, you have the link, guys, hold on a second. Euh, voilà. That's my comment, right? Put in this Kawagoe live. Bon, attends. Hop, on a mali. <laughs> Shut up, Jennifer. <laughs> voilà, this is how you have to do it, guys. You put uh, feed Jennifer in and the location. If you guess what location I'm going to do next food hunt, which is 90% of chances that I do it tomorrow afternoon, you will get a gift that I bought at Seria with you last, um, last month. Uh, so please take part in the game because it's fun, <laughs> I think. I will uh, get the present on my food hunt and show it to you and we'll see who, who will uh, maybe get the right location. The thing is that, um, as you know, I usually don't plan, I don't really know in advance where I'm going to do those live streams. So it's also a surprise for me, but I think that I know where I'm going to do it tomorrow. I don't think that uh, the location has been... Uh, <laughs> you can play it maybe, I'm not sure, maybe twice because, you know, it's the first person who gives the right location, who gets, uh, who gets the prize. So, voila, voila. So hopefully I can do it tomorrow and I will see you again live tomorrow, if not uh, in the next few days. Or in the morning because I have a weird, another weird drink to try live with you guys. Uh, my Patreon family thought it was really like yikes. They were like, what the hell is that? So um, we've decided that I would do the live uh, public with you too also. Uh, apart from that, I'm working on some new projects that I will tell you about very soon. There is also, don't forget that there is... <laughs> saying that but don't forget that there is my birthday <laughs> very soon guys <laughs> don't forget <laughs> i can private you my my office address if you want to send me presents <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> um no it's my birthday is kind of a no no how do you call say that like it's an important date to me, not only because it's my birthday, because it's on the 18th of January, but the 18th of January, we will celebrate also. Oh my God, when did I start? When did I upload my very first video? It must have been some, about two years ago. It is because I did, I uploaded my first video that wasn't live two years ago and a few days, it was probably a week or so later, I did my first live stream outside uh, on my birthday and we celebrated it together in Ichigaya. Do you remember that? Are you kidding me, Margot? Sugoi! <laughs> I have, uh, there are lots of, um, you're not kidding? Really? So good! You have to... Okay, you know what? I will try. I think I, that I will let you know the day before at what time I will live stream. So that... And we'll do a food hunt or something. Anyways. And anyways, there is... I want to do a live stream on my birthday for a very specific reason. So... Um, yes, we will celebrate together. So, Margo, I hope, what is, until what time during the day can you watch the videos? You're, I think you're located in the States, right? Aren't you in California too? Or I can do, you know, a live stream at this time of the day 
and then another one for our European friends, right? You're in Chicago, okay. Let's celebrate together. That's nice. It's always nice, don't you think, guys, when you find someone whose birthday is the same day as you know? Don't you feel like that? Like, oh my God, this is crazy. Super nice. But I'll be, I will celebrate before you because when I'll be celebrating, it will still be the 17th, right? So anyways, so we will, we have, this is uh, the plan. I still have footage, guys, that I haven't uh, edited yet. Uh, I have the, you know, A380 Emirates business class video to edit. I'd like to make a video of my holidays in Thailand too, but I have so much footage, guys, that I'm just thinking and rethinking and rethinking and changing. Okay, I want, this is how I want to see my holidays. And then I changed my mind, so I haven't quite yet decided how I'm going to edit it. But um, now that I have... <sighs> A miracle has happened is that, you know, I've been trying to to learn new things when I'm editing because I do all the editing on my iPhone, believe it or not. But I'm now thinking of buying a software because I'm really enjoying this. I wish I had the time to edit more, but, uh, but for now it's on my iPhone and what I did at the end of the year is that I changed the language of this one. This one is still in Japanese. This one I've put in French. And seriously, guys, I'm like, how can I be so stupid? Because in French, I understand that, like, you know, how, for example, you know, when I put the comments at the bottom of the video, it was always I was thinking how I don't need the comment to be all along that segment of video, right? And I didn't know how just to put it for a few seconds when it's, for example, a one minute of Yakiniku, right? Have you noticed, guys, that I know how to do that now? That sometimes in one, one um, segment of video, I've been, and now I know how to put many comments because I have put my iPhone in French. Mamma mia, why didn't I do this earlier? So voila. And now I'm like, oh my God, it's so nice because I can do more things that I've always been wanting to do, right? Uh, but the problem is with the music because when I want to add music on YouTube, I can't I want to put music on just some beats and different music, but I can't do it on YouTube. Or I don't know, maybe it's me who doesn't know anymore. I used to, to do it, now I can't do it anymore. And I'm thinking it's just such a pain. And anyways, I probably need now to go to the next level because I have some, I have the basics now, I think, right? So I think I have to, invest in the software and um, Nosh had given me some advices about this when I started YouTube so I should go back and find this uh, this email he had sent me but also uh, Dan you had recommended me a software I think I should uh, check it out I will private message you so that you give me the information again huh? Alors, yeah, the royal, alors, yes, we use carry royalty free music. We have to because you have some in the app, the iMovie app, of course. And then on YouTube, it's all, you know, even if sometimes I'm like, I'm tempted, but I wouldn't know how to put anyways uh, other musics, I think, because... I haven't, I'm thinking also that I have to, to download iMusic <laughs> because I'm stubborn 
And I don't like Apple pushing us to download all those things. And also, I don't even know, is iMusic free or do we have to pay for it? Because if we have to pay for it, they can stuck it, you know where. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm so not buying it, you know. Like, is there a fee every month? No, I don't think so. But please confirm. <laughs> And also, yeah, the, um, when you're editing on your phone, it's just so small, the screen. And when I have, when I have to go back and it's just, you know. So I hope you do realize all the <laughs> effort I've been putting in editing and how hard it's been for me because I'm doing this on my iPhone. So no monthly fee, okay. Maybe I should download it, it then right um so voila this is i think i'm because i've been thinking of buying a uh, software for a long time so i think i will um i'm going to cross that uh, take that step too voila this is the novelty well, another novelty for 2020 uh, and then other projects, you know, personal, not personal projects because professional projects, but that have nothing to do with YouTube. But you will see because it's all connected anyways to food, always food and wine sake related. So you will, uh, sh I will share that with you too when I start doing those things. Uh, I'm going to resume cooking too guys because I've been bad on the channel with cooking the cooking segment has been sleeping for more than half a year I think and I checked out my playlists and it turns out that I have views I have more views than I thought on the on the playlist the food Cooking with the babies. The cooking with the babies is number two, I think. Yes, it's number two in the ranking of uh, what I do. So I'm good. And I thought it was really bad. It's not actually. So I have to, and I like cooking, so I have to do it again. But the problem is that, you know, when I cook, usually it's like, I'm not, if I'm home and, you know, I don't have to put makeup on and, you know, get properly dressed and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know me, you spent a month with me when I did the challenge. So, but I know that I have to, you know, to, to do some cooking again, because then that enables me to share more moments with you. So I will do it again. Voila, voila. I think that's all for the heads up. You have, I'm going to send a message to my customers, see if I can do that meeting at two, from two to three. If I can, that means that I will do the live stream. Please try and take part in the game. Put, try and guess where I'm going to do the food hunt tomorrow afternoon from so, uh, starting at around, th in between three and 3.15, okay? Just in case um the meeting is a little bit more than an hour but i will tell him i'm free from two to three so okay um have you seen last thing did you see the picture of the shooting that i did for tele tv asahi yesterday i had so much fun it was just so nice guys and i have do i have Attends, did I show you? Yes, it's this program, Sugo et Desne Shisatsudan. And I have, I'm going to put, um, I know it's upstairs. I'm going to put um, a Q&A. That program is just so nice. I'm not answered. Can I show you this? Um, no. It should be okay. So I was with Bellissimo and Afla and voilà me. Huh? 
and I know these two it's it's nice when I can choose you know the, the other people it's not 50 people it's just the three of us and people that I know like I know them because you know we know our rhythm and you know we don't there are you know some people they don't know how it works on TV and they try to speak all the time, but we all have to speak in turns, right? And we all have different subjects. So it was a great shooting. Uh, tiring because I was tired today. It's, I got tired because I had to, many things to talk about and I had, you have to be, remain alert the whole time. And for, because you never know when the camera is going to be on your face, right? So, and there are days like that, you know, you're more tired or you get tired, but uh, quicker than usual. But uh, it was a nice shooting, very interesting. Um, I brought them some of my cannoli, big success. That was because I thought, hey, you know, it will, they will be happy, I think, to taste my cannoli. So I brought the mini cannoli. And it's not live, this scary, it's, uh, they have to edit. And um, it's the same, live or not live, because even if we are not live, this program is a prime time program. And it's not like, I can't be like, oh, okay, hold on a second, take two. We don't do that on those programs because we are with big stars and we don't have the time to do that. Uh, because there is so much content and they even have to edit it and shorten it and yesterday it was from 5 to 8 30 they have three hours and a half of the producer said oh my god today was the content was again great it's going to be hard to shorten it to less than two hours because it's a two hours program with um the commercials in between so it's not even two hours uh, but it's always very interesting for me to do this program because um, it's I learn things and I'm surrounded with really smart people I love you know this uh, combi uh, Bakuso Monday uh, Tanaka-san and Ota-san oh my god these guys are just so smart and so amazing and I always feel like, oh my God, just being around them, it makes me be smarter, you know? So this is why I always enjoy taking part in this program. And it used to be every week, but now uh, it's only every two months. But they've kept me as a regular, which I'm very thankful for, because now it's not, it's, each time it's just three foreigners. Before it was for three foreigners most of the time, but sometimes they would have 20 or 50, you know. So I'm really happy, you know, to be now uh, one of the last <laughs> remaining um, foreigners commenting in this comment. It's a great honor for me and I feel really blessed to have been picked um, and that, you know, they appreciate well uh, my comments and that they enjoy my comments, right? So, because they told me that I'm an added value for this program, which is very rewarding for me. Voila, voila. So I have, I'm going to... Um... <laughs> You're trying to recover. Yeah, you did the... Uh... That must have been awesome, Ram says, the meetup with uh, Drew. So I'm going to put a QA and a and ask you, because I got, I couldn't see last program uh, that was broadcast at the beginning of December, because I was in Koh Samui. So I got the DVD and I also still haven't watched the... <laughs> I hope the the people of Japan in journeys in Japan don't watch me because don't watch this video because I still haven't watched the um, Ise journeys in Japan in Ise video. I have the DVD and I want to watch that one. I told you because it was just such an amazing and uh, very powerful experience for me that trip to Ise. 
very overwhelming because I believe it's a power spot and I could feel really like it was very overwhelming for me to be there just to be there so this is why I wanted to watch this program um, and I was thinking guys that I could we could do this maybe together so I'm going to put a Q&A but I think that I already kind of know the answer. You will want to watch the Japanese program with me so that I can stop and translate, explain to you what we are talking about. But just in case, I'm going to put a Q&A. Uh, please let me know which one you prefer to watch together. Voilà, voilà. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to have uh, lunch now, a quick lunch now, and then have to work. Happy New Year again, and see you probably tomorrow for a food hunt. Huh? Also, <laughs> please do not forget to like the video and to subscribe if you haven't done it quite yet. Voila! Jennifer, she's starting! <laughs> yes, I know I have to do this. Um, so voila, I'm doing it now. I can do this, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Jeff, uh, you put a comment, Jeff. Oh my God, you made me laugh so hard. I don't remember, but thank you. Uh, Kerry, thank you so much. Um, voilà. Gros bisous and see you probably tomorrow. Attends, we have Dolaimon. Dolaimon, just attend, chipped in. Elise, hey! Lunch on me, thank you so much, Elise. How are you? I'm sorry you're, you arrived. Were you watching and not commenting because I'm finishing the live stream? Uh, voilà, merci beaucoup. Thank you for the lunch and see you tomorrow i will create the link when i'm sure i have the um, the hour confirmation okay have a great day yes and tomorrow there will be and tomorrow during the live we will i will create another quiz i will think of another quiz guys another game for us and there will be more prizes to win Voila, merci beaucoup. Love you, love you, love you. Thanks for not forgetting about me, being patient and waiting for me. I am back. Kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. A bientôt. Gros bisous. Bye, guys. Bye. Mwah.